Okay, so I'm <clears throat> doing this video real quick. Uh, it's still a morning time. No, I went to the studio on Sunday, and we were actually outside uh, playing with the crossbow, which I have right here. So this dude here is so much fun. Um, it literally is pretty, it's only 80 pounds, um, but it's fun. It's fun. The girls were target practicing and everything else. Dang, she's already at the studio. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. My internet is acting crazy because someone uh, replied to the video that I was, this is a trilogy. This is the first time I've ever done a trilogy video. Make sure you join the Discord, which is down in the description box below. But it's a trilogy because it feeds off of the first one. There was a Japanese lady that wrote a story about, excuse me, it was an Ask Her Shinoe about how she liked this guy and he liked her but they never she was she's japanese they never made it work because neither one of them approached the other one and only later did they find out that each other liked each other so there was this these assumptions a guy wrote to me a black guy saying that he doesn't think asian women like black dudes that it's unless you're super wealthy or there's all these different things that you have to be in order for that to happen because it's just not the case and my reply back to him was it could be your location he had tattoos different things maybe your approach well in the comment section of that video this is where the trilogy part comes in there was a man who i assume by the last name is japanese said that he he was never a fan of japanese women dating non-japanese men uh it makes him so jealous and he hates seeing them date non-japanese men now, let me first say that I actually appreciate that comment. I appreciate that comment because here's the reason why I appreciate that comment. It's speaking truth. When someone speaks their truth, even if I disagree with it, I'm like, okay, good. You admitted something that most won't admit here. I just saw a video yesterday of this black guy. He's dating a, um, they're YouTubers. He's dating a woman from some European country. She's very a pretty, he, very a pretty. She's very pretty and he's a decent looking black dude, right? And so in the comments, you have all these negative comments and they do videos talking about their negative comments and all this other stuff. And you have a lot of women, mainly black women calling him, saying that he's in the sunken place. Why are you with her? Blah, 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 right? And the girl in the video says, how come that's never the other way around? You never hear black dudes commenting on black women's videos who date white dudes exclusively or whatever, that they're in the sunken place. Why is it only when there's a black guy with whoever people have an issue with it? And it would be better if people would say exactly what this gentleman said, that he has, he's jealous and he hates sin when someone who's not Japanese date a Japanese woman. Now, if that was the case, if people would just fess up to the way that this guy did, there would be better conversations than what you currently have. Because if you look in the comments here, <clears throat> excuse me, and I don't know if any of these people are even subscribers or not, doesn't matter, but none of them are attacking one another. It's asking questions. It's trying to seek understanding. That's the whole point. And the reason why you don't, and this is not a pick on any particular group at all, but because you have some black dudes who also will say the same thing. Well, you're dating somebody else. I, you know, you must be in the sunken place. And you, you, uh, whatever. You can't comment on black issues. It's like, you, who are you? You probably add zero value to a situation. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, who are you? But this guy didn't approach it like that. He literally stated his, his, his view, his truth, versus dancing around the issue. And the reason why people don't want to, especially in, and you, that's why I said I can respect a clan member saying, I don't like interracial dating because blah, 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 blah. I don't, I don't have to agree with it. Don't have to agree with that person. Don't have to like that person. But the fact that there's truth, I can respect that. I can't respect smoke and mirrors and lies. And you often hear that in our community, when, especially when it deals with black dudes only, typically. 
that, you know, you're basically selling out and that you are, you have an issue with black women, that you don't like dark skinned black women, you hate your mother, you this, that, and the other. There's all these, these fake analogies, right? Now, that's not to say that you don't have some black dudes that feel that way. That's not to say that you don't have that. But to paint a whole population that has dated women of other races or exclusively date women of other races that way is just ridiculous. Hold on, I gotta blow my nose. Okay, back. So, to me, that's just ridiculous. And no one really wants to have a conversation with someone who wants to lie about it. And in here, it says, someone said, do you date Japanese women exclusively? Someone said, you can't control what people do, no matter how you feel about it. It's their decision, and it's what makes them happy. None of these guys are attacking. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, that's the way it's supposed to be. It's not this juvenile, childish games of name-calling and all of this stupid stuff. It shows the mentality of a person. These people right here, all of the people that have commented, there's three people. One, two, three. Three people commenting. And I added comments if they will ever add because it's just spinning around in circles because of my internet. These three gentlemen, based on their names, are mature adults. And I can respect, you can have dialogue and that's what they're doing. Versus when the, the one guy, I saw his channel and he's black dude and he's dating this, this girl. The reason why they're getting these comments is because she's really pretty. She's very, very pretty. And so people are jealous of that relationship because of a whole host of things. A whole laundry list of things. Where she's from, what she looks like, what he looks like, all of that comes into play. These are facts. And the fact that you have someone that is willing to admit he's not getting attacked. He's not getting attacked. They could have easily came back and said something mean. So then he replies back and says, it still makes me mad seeing, seeing them date each other. I feel hate when I see Japanese women date outside their race, but happy when they date Japanese men. I mean... And then someone said, do you get mad when Japanese men date outside their race? Because that is a very good question. And I wrote, if it will ever pop up, that's a very good question. It's a very good question. Is, do you get upset when Japanese men do it? Because that's kind of what's going on in our community. If you notice, there are channels... Again, this is not attacking because I have black women on my page who love and support us and I love and support them. We have black women who date white dudes or Asian dudes or whoever, and they're on our page and we love them because they respect us. We have everybody on our page. And I would love, if these three gentlemen are not on our uh, subscription list, I hope that they are. But when you have a situation where you look at channels that have black women with whomever, their subscriber list is massive. Massive. When it's the a black dude with somebody else, not so much. It's, it's pretty rare. You have a few, but it's not as massive. And the reason why is because of the simple fact that if you are a black dude, you are shamed. Now, some of this goes into, and, and Noel and I was talking about this, white supremacy. Not in terms of this guy. This is a cultural thing. But here, it's white supremacy. Because any time in the past, black men were told who you can be with, who you couldn't be with, even if it was your own wife, who you couldn't, couldn't be with, when you could, all of that. You were controlled, right? But that didn't apply with white guys then. doesn't apply now. And... So they could date and do whatever they want during slavery times, before that, after that, nobody says anything. They've given the freedom. Black dudes, however, back in the day, <laughs> could not. It was a death sentence. 
death sentence if you did. And so you were controlled. And today, guess what? You don't have a whole lot of white people saying, no, you can't be with a white chick, but you have a lot of people in our community carrying on that trope of white supremacy saying that, no, this is who you can and can't be with. Now, there's going to be people who don't like this. That's cool. You're going to have some people who might get mad. That's cool. But facts are facts. And the fact that you have someone here who can easily sit there and, I don't know why this, I'm going to see if, I'm going to refresh it and hopefully it captures the comments that I put. We have some internet issues here. Recently, it's just up and down, up and down, up and down. I didn't even capture it. <sighs> Let's see if it'll capture that. Um, but anyhow, the fact that he's able to actually share that, I'm like, okay, that's something you don't see every, you don't see honesty every day. It's like, I like that. It's usually as long as you don't say nothing negative about us, but you're saying something negative. You're saying something negative. And these, these gentlemen are saying that it, you can't control what people do. Whether you say, I don't like it, that's still not going to control, that's, that's still not going to stop it. Or if you use juvenile tactics of saying you're in the sunken place, that's still, if anything, that's going to make people do it even more. Because people want to repel from that. It doesn't work. It does not work. And that's why you see, even in the South, where I'm from, you see a lot of white chicks with black dudes. Why? Because growing up, they were told, the girls were told, you stay away from them. Don't do this. Don't do that. And guess what happened? They did the exact opposite in full force. When you go there now to my hometown, it's not a rarity. When I was like elementary school age, you never saw it. It was hard, hardly ever. And now no one pays attention because it has accelerated because there were so many people trying to police what people do. And when you do that, it's never going to work. And so with this guy here, they're just basically saying like, do you, let's ask you this question. These two gentlemen were asking these two questions of him. Do you exclusively date Japanese women? Because if you don't, then what about the opposite? Right? What about the opposite? Because what about the Japanese men who date outside their race? That's a question. Because it's not just Japanese and saying that that's a, you know, the Asian race. But what about Japanese that date Korean or Chinese or Thai or Filipino or whatever? Because I'm sure there's guys that don't like that either. So... Again, I just wanted to, to, to do a video on this, not to even, it's not attacking him whatsoever. I congratulate the fact that he said what he said. Don't agree with it, but I congratulate that. That makes me, I'm happy to see it. I'm happy to see something like that. And I'm happy to see the responses back were not negative because most, and I assume that these could be black dudes, they may not be. But these black dudes are not upset with that. They're not upset with the statement. They're just curious. I'm asking questions and I like seeing that. I like seeing the maturity because on social media, that is rare. <laughs> it's becoming more rare as time goes on, but I really do appreciate that and his overall feelings. And by the way, he's not saying that he doesn't like seeing black dudes with Japanese women. He's saying any non-Japanese man, he does not like seeing it. And so, again, I can I can appreciate and respect the truth and honesty in that statement. Um, but yeah, and I can also respect the, the honesty and truth in what these other gentlemen are saying and the maturity. Love that. Make sure you join our Discord. It's going to be down in the description box below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment because sometimes the comments are, I mean, this is great. And until next time, I will see you. Take care.